Golden Drac Classic versus Golden Drac 9000. Which is best? Hello and welcome to a special beer review with me, Ruku. You may notice there's two glasses there. Why are there two glasses? Well, today we're going to do a comparison video. Yes, haven't done one of these for a while. What we're we looking at? Well, we're looking at two of the best in my eyes, Belgian beers you can get. There are many. I'm not saying they are the best, but they are some of the best. We've got Golden Drac Classic, 10.5% uh, from Belgium, from the Van Steenberg Brewery, up against Golden Drac 9000 Quadrupel. Also 10.5% from the Van Steenberg Brewery. So these two beers I will be comparing and seeing the difference. I've had loads, I've had these loads of times and uh, I've never actually sat down and com properly compared them side by side. So exactly what we're going to do. Let's crack this open. Oh, beautiful hiss, beautiful smell. Got smell it from here. Okay, so we'll put this one, Golden Drac Classic, in a Chimay glass. Okay. There we have Chimay number one. Uh, sorry, Chimay, Golden Drac number one. There's still a little bit more in there, so I'll come back to that in a sec. There's some smoke coming off that, and that seems to be a little bit stuck. <laughs> There's cap number two. I've run out of things, hands. All right, so we're going to put Gold Drac 9000 in the delirium glass. Again, there's still a bit of a head in there. So straight away, we can see the difference. So that's the classic. Look how dark that is. And that's the 9000. We can see straight away. The colour difference is obvious. Um, in terms of head retention, they're about equal. This one has more of a... The classic has more of a flatter, tanned, sandy head. This one has more of a frothy, foamy, tandy head. And I'll show you that in just a second. I'm going to bring you up. But the colour is is amazing. It's this. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That one was that one. I can't remember what one's what. <laughs> it says. I want to put in the wrong glasses now. The sort of stupid shit I would do to be fair. Okay, right, so we've got two of these that, again, uh, that's so different in, in the light. These both smell amazing, by the way. Let's just bring you up something, just take you out. Apologies if I get the shit camera angle. Okay, so this one here is the normal ones, this is Golden Rec Classic, alright, look at the head on that. Smooth, creamy looking. Now for the 9000. Big bubbles, foamy, shaving foam. All right, they've both got that sort of same colour head. It's that sort of tanny colour. Okay. Um, and before I do this, and to make this a fair trial, I'm just going to grab some water. So I'll just be back in a sec. Right. So I'm back with me water, and I promise you, this isn't vodka. It's generally water. 
Uh, I'm going to clean my palette with that, so I'm going to do that now actually. Water. Right, let's go with the classic first, okay? So, smells of dark fruits, but I'm not really into the smell at the moment. I just really want to get the taste. So, sort of dark fruit, sort of aromas, but let's get in with the taste. Boozy forward. Lovely roastedness, caramel, sweet sugars, dark fruits. Head is small but frothy. Nice alcohol burn. Very warming as well. I mean, the classic, this one here is, a, is, a, is an exceptionally good beer. I mean, a lot of people love this. I can see why, there's lots of flavours going on, there's creaminess as well, towards the end. It really is a decent, well put together beer, and it's one of the best beers that you could probably get um, for, for the money, you know, and also for the style. It's very strong, um, robust, malty, fruity, yeah, it really ticks a lot of boxes. So, a lot of people like the classic, and as I say, the head's had time to come down a bit. Just still gives that warmth in the mouth and the alcohol burn as well. And the mouthfeel just feels creamy, gentle, smooth, with tons of fruit and a very strong alcohol hit, as you can imagine being 10.5. It's that head. The head is beautiful. Very sweet, uh, you know, sticky as well. So that's that one, so let's just rinse my mouth out and clean my palate. I mean these beers are so strong in flavour, I can still taste it even though I've just had some water, so I'm going to just... Might take me a while. Right. This thing is the ninth thousand quadrupel and so this being a quadrupel in style let's go with this one so let's get the aromas quickly <sighs> not as strong on the aromas as this one aromas are weaker but just as inviting not sure really what I'm getting. It's been a while. It's like fruit, yeast, spice, that kind of thing. Right, let's crack on. Now, you can tell the difference a mile off. That is a lot sweeter than this. This is more gentle, you don't get the alcohol burn. This is full on sweet, dark fruits, raisins, plums, alcohol burn. This is more gentle, it's mellower. They're the same percent bearing in mind. These are still 10.5 of a pair, but they're brewed completely differently. Flavour wise, everything's more toned down. It's fruity, juicy, but not as fruity as this one. It's not all the dark fruits bombarding at ya. It's more of a mellower beer. And being a quadruple, you wouldn't expect that. You would expect like, you know, a whole array of stuff going on. And there is, there's a lot of flavours there. I'm getting a nice warmth, but not the alcohol burn that I got from the classic. The classic was just straight harshness on the burn. The 9000 here is actually very mellow. It's just giving the, the mouth a nice warmth. Um, the flavours are developing slowly. The, the body seems a lot more smoother, less jagged around the edges. This is more sort of rough and ready. This is more kind of 
Okay, we take our time, we're like the older gentleman. So this is like the teenager, this is like the older gentleman. Two completely different beers, two completely different flavours, two different styles. What one's best? Wow. Apologies for the loud bang. Well, um, I, I don't know what's best. I mean, they're, they're really, really decent beers. To me, I want to match. I want to pick and choose. And this is what I would do. If I, if I could create a beer in between these two, I would keep the, the mouthfeel of the head for this one. I would also keep a lot of the sweetness and the dark fruits. But on this one, the 9000, I would actually keep the mellowness that that brings and the drinkability and, and you know, having that mellow flavour. So what you would then have is essentially a sweet uh, beer that's mellow with a lovely sort of mouthfeel in the head maybe colour wise I, I, I don't know I mean colour wise personal preference what would you prefer a lighter or a darker I mean it's each to their own but and I know that a lot of people love both these these beers these are some of the best beers out there and they're not cheap either depending on where you shop of course So this one has a bit more spice to it, more yeasty. Um, and this one more dark fruit. But what are what are two fantastic great beers these are? Um, I personally prefer the nine thousand. I personally prefer this one, which is this one here. Let's move this out of the way for any confusion. And the reason why I prefer this one out of the two is because quite simply it's the drinkability you don't get the alcohol burn and for a 10.5 percent you don't know it's 10.5 percent yeah it you could say it's a sipper but to me i could quite happily <laughs> about some good beer quite happily nip this although i would be stupid to because <laughs> two things one i'd probably be away with the fairies and two you don't appreciate the flavour if you down it. This is what these beers are about. These are your sipping beers that, let's be honest, you could quite happily set the scene. You could be in a log cabin somewhere, a nice fire going, the nice warmth from the glow from the fire. You sat there in this cabin, maybe with your other half, maybe you're on your own, who knows. And you sit down and you've cracked one of these open. You pour it, obviously in the the golden drag glass, but I don't have a golden drag glass, so, you know, we'll, we'll improvise. You sit down, you've got it in the glass, you're taking it all in, fire, the warmth, feel nice and relaxed, and then you, you come to taste this. Spicy, fruity, mellow. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, and that's why you sip this beer because you really want to have time to appreciate the flavour. And if you didn't know, and I'm sure I saw this, I'm not going mental. Uh, you can't, you won't be able to pick this up on camera because it's so ingrained at the bottom there with the, the colouring here. But there is a thermometer that states you have to drink this at eight degrees. So eight degrees, and the reason why is because you want to allow all those flavours to come through. You know, if you're going to put this in the fridge for 10, 15 minutes, forget about it. It's, it's not going to do the job. If you keep this at room temperature, you're best off because the flavours and the fruits come through. That's why they tell you to, to have them at this temperature. You, you know, you want to appreciate these beers. You don't want to go ahead and just be like, oh, okay, I'll just shove that in the fridge. And you, you know, you, I'm not sure about that one. 
Uh, to me, it didn't really do a lot, you know. Well, why is that? Uh, because you put it in the fridge. So a little little bit of advice there for, for the beginners here that are watching this. Uh, for those of you who have these beers, I know many of you have, you'll appreciate a real good beer, and you'll probably be sitting there and saying, wow, Ruku, two fantastic beers. And how right you are, how right you are. So now back to this one. Um, I love the sweetness that this brings, and I love uh, the dark fruits that just burst in the mouth. The head is better, the head is more active than the 9000. It, the head plays more of a better role. Arguably, both of these beers deliver a fantastic aftertaste that lasts. This one's a bit more heavier. This one, to me, is almost like a, a coffee or a dark chocolate aroma that sticks around. The other one, the 9000 there, has a tendency to just be like uh, a milder perfuminess to it. It's almost like a like a, like a bomb going off and then like a like a smoke bomb. It, you know, big hit at the start and it just mellows as the smoke arises. And I tell you what, though they are the same brewery, we know this, we they are both the same brewery, the same volume and the same alcohol content. Slightly different designs on the bottle, but hey ho. The colour <laughs> The colour's different. The heads are different. You can see this one's the 9000 is more than the classic. But the flavours are, are, are next to none. This one's richer, this one's tamer. And if I had to decide, uh, if, if obviously you've never tried these two before, if I had to tell you to try one of these two beers, which one would it be? Well, I'll tell you to go and try both. Because I couldn't personally make that call. I couldn't say this one's better than this one or this one's better than this one. They are equally as good, but it really goes on how good your palate is. If you're a sweeter person, if you love chocolate, you love raisins, you love fruit, then the classic's just as good for you. You might as well take the classic home there and just drink it. I feel like more of a, a mellow approach with subtle flavours but at the same time strong flavours. The 9000s for you. Now out of the two, the 9000s is my personal favourite of the two. Although I wouldn't say no to a Grand Drac Classic should it be offered to me or should I see it in a store I would still buy it. But that's just my, my opinion. So really when it comes down to choosing which Golden Drac is best, they're both just as good. Um, I know a lot of people favour this one, and I know lots of people favour this one, so to me it's a dead heat, it's a dead tie, I can't decide which one's best as such, me personal preference is a 9000, but for any viewers that have never tried this, I would say go and try them both, don't be scared at 10.5, believe you and me, it's not as strong as it sounds, 10.5 you're thinking, wow, I'm used to drinking a 5 percent now, whoa, 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 let's stop a minute. 5% beer is great, but these are in a different league. I'm not talking about alcohol content, I'm talking the way that they're brewed. If someone said to me, have a can of Foster's, or uh, I don't know, uh, let's see, uh, Cronenberg, or uh, uh, the Stella Artois, or this, I would pick one of these any, any time, maybe every single time, because these are brewed with love, passion, and desire. The people at the Van Steenberg Brewery know what they're doing. They've had years of experience and they've got some good high quality ingredients to make these beers. It's not just about the alcohol content, it's all about the flavour. And yeah, 10.5 is a bonus. To have a beer at 10.5 is incredible and I applaud them for that. But it's the flavour and it all goes down to personal taste between these two. So there you go, two golden drags, one classic, one quadruple. What one are you going to go for? What one do you like the colour of? What one would you go for? The classic or the 9000? I'll leave that up to you. Till next time, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. 
share my videos.